So Kevin, uh, that was a bit of a roller coaster. Ah, uh, we don't like doing anything easy here, at Stirling. Um, just like you know, let, listen, let's start and you know, thank. No, because I think it's the end of the season. Just you know, I think it's been a huge effort to get here. By everybody at the club, yourself included, I think you've run a you know a fantastic streaming for the fans. Obviously, we we thank personally. I thank the fans for the you know the support, even from afar. You know, we feel it. And I know that there are those fans that will be disappointed slightly, but you know, we've had a mad week, it's, it's unprecedented and it's the last seven days that have hurt us, you know. Um, before that we were fairly comfortable and, and like today, you know, listen, if, if anybody's watched that today, we're the better team. You know, I'm, I, and I'm no being disrespectful to Stranra, but on the day for me today, we were the better team. Um, not by much, it's fine lines in this division that separate, that separate the teams and win and lose your games and um, but, you know, uh, we've got a heartbeat, <laughs> so so I'm delighted with that, you know, 89 minutes there, you're thinking, what a horrible way, you know, to, to, to finish a season, and then, you know, Dylan Mackin, who's not even fit, he's injured, comes on, gets a touch to a ball, Declan's just come on off the bench, sharp as attack, and, you know, bundles at home, and I'm just delighted for the boys, they've given, they've left nothing on this pit, they've given me everything today, and, uh, aye, uh, I, Proud, proud, proud to be manager of the club. Proud to be manager of that squad, and that's only going to get better. That squad, it really is. Um, we're halfway through a season, basically, you know, um, in any normal season. So a lot of positives. Right, from watching up there, uh, me, Paul, and Liam, we're all in commentary. We're all in uh, agreement that that was a full, from back to front, a team performance there today. There was a real team unity there today, from first minute right to the end. I, I think there's a worry, you know, you got up to Elgin two days later, you know, you got a bad result, you got up to Elgin, flat, you know, you, you have a mad 20 minutes, you know, injuries and then lose two goals in two minutes. It's the first time this season we've lost back-to-back -back games at Elgin in Queen's Park. Um, and, and you're worried coming in today that, you know, is it going to be one, one game too far, but they galvanised themselves, um, they got... There was tired bodies there at the end, I think, you know, you could see a few bodies, there was cramping, there was spasming going on in backs and legs and thighs and hammies, but they just kept going, they kept knocking at the door, and as I say, super proud to see that character, um, and I hope they get their, their just rewards, I hope that, you know, what they would do finishing the playoffs, but it's out of their hands now, and sporting integrity, you know, we'll ask for that on Tuesday, and, you know, I might have to make a few phone calls and promise people a fine bottle of wine, I don't know, but, nah, listen, I think the four teams, I think right now, you know, we're separated by one point, we're se I think we're separated by goals scored, you know, by two goals or three goals, it's so, 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 so close, but, you know, um, we're in a good, we're in a, we're in a spot, we're in it just now, and we'll wait and see what happens come Tuesday. Uh, back to the game, uh, Paul McLean said on commentary that uh, he would quit football if Ross McGeeky scored, <laughs> and uh, Ross McGeeky went on to score uh, the first the first equaliser. Uh, it was a great header. <laughs> it was a terrific goal, I and mean, the delivery was sweet as a nut. Div Wilson, you know, he's he's done that ever since he's came to the club, and we've no bowl the fruits of that that delivery, you know. And it's the same with Jack Leach puts in some terrific crosses and for set plays, and I think Big Alden was unlucky with one today, headed over the bar, but Ross got his as soon as he's left his head, you know, he didn't try and put too much on it, he sort of glanced it, just directed it, and it was a terrific header, a terrific goal. Again, another big moment, you know, just before sort of half-time in that eye. So, <laughs> all in all, I'm, I'm proud, I'm no content, we're not winning, but we're in it, as I say, we're in it at the minute. And uh, how do you approach Tuesday night? Will you have the boys in training or would you...? Uh, we'll, we'll probably give them Tuesday off, we'll maybe look to get in a couple of times as the week goes on. We'll definitely be in Thursday, whether we come in Wednesday or Friday, you know, we have to let them recover. <laughs> uh, I mean, last night we were going to hold some Zooms and we had to give them the night off just for mental, you know. A lot of the boys didn't get into one o'clock um, after the Elgin game later and then they're at work the next day at six, so it's been a tough 48 hours for them. Um, <laughs> so, you know, we've got to protect them, you know, this is about them. Everything, you know, that, that where we sit right now, you know, we've conceded less goals than anybody else apart from Queen's. <sighs> we've lost, I think, ourselves in Stranraer have lost the least amount of games in the league, 
you know, but it's fine lines and we have to find a way, you know, if, if we're lucky enough to get into those playoffs, we have to find a way of turning draws into wins and we have to find it in seven days. So, so I know not a lot of time to rest and I, we you know, we'll do our homework now and then we'll make sure all the, all the bases are covered and as I say, we'll sit with our, our hands under our bottoms on, on Tuesday and, and hope. And uh, even whatever happens on Tuesday night, it's it's an achievement in itself getting through what has been the most bizarre season uh, in football football I don't know Scottish football Has, history. Football, I think you're and right, Ben. I think it's it's a positive just how well we've done considering all the circumstances the clubs had to deal with from the, even the the August way back in August before this even season even started. Aye, I mean, listen, I think there's, there's been a huge effort in the background. To, to keep this keep this club afloat as there's been a lot of other clubs you know the fans coming in with the GoFundMe at the start of all of this like, over a year ago fantastic effort um, in terms of the football side and my own journey you know I've come into a club that was second bottom a league I've come into a club that lost to the bottom of the league team 3-0 um, there, there's been a total transformation the average age is coming down you know we've, we've turned it you know into one of the best defensive teams in the league and it's not that we play defensive we've now got the most shots in the league at goal apart from Queen's Park and um, we need to find a way of turning that as well but but you're right you know I started this conversation by thanking everybody yourself you know the board um, everybody you know the, the guys that, that help you know Covid officers that have come in and helped and, and kept things turning over it. And, and then you know a lot of thank goes to my management team and, and the players but listen this isn't the last interview well, you know, let's be positive. I want to be in front of you again. Um, but I, right now, a huge thank you to everybody that supported us from afar. But um, I hope there's a, an opportunity to do so again this season. Thanks very much, Kevin. Thanks, Ben. Cheers.